You're watching Boone TV News, Iowa's number one high school news show. Hello Boone High, and welcome to this week's news show. I'm Tanner Frost. And I'm Jason Mooley. Thank you for joining us for another edition of our weekly news show. For our first story, the annual career fair took place in the Boone High Gymnasium on Wednesday, March 8th. With over 60 colleges and businesses in attendance, this was a great opportunity for BHS students. Boone TV's Ben Wagner has your story on the career fair. The Boone High School held a career fair in the gym on Wednesday, March 8th. This event is designed to help students plan for their future. What I've learned from the career fair is more about colleges and getting more information about what I want to do when I'm older. It is Mrs. Fontanini's first year in charge of organizing the career fair. Well, we have a lot of colleges and businesses from around the community coming, militaries coming, so it'll really help them gather information to help them decide what they want to do after high school. Many students have found this event to be helpful throughout their high school career. When I was a freshman and underclassman, I went around to different colleges and got to look into different things. There were many different businesses and colleges at the career fair to help students understand what they offer. Uh, I decided to sign up for the career fair just to get people interested in a mechanical type career. Um, if they're interested in cars or small engines. And I brought my business along, Blake's Garage here in town and just to kind of promote interest in mechanics. Mr. Byam sees this as a great opportunity to prepare students for life after high school. I think it's important to make sure that we are um, preparing our students to understand what uh, post-secondary education is all about and um, having, having business partners and uh, colleges here, um, it gives them a better understanding of what they need to do while they're in high school in order to accomplish that. This year's career fair went really well thanks to Mrs. Fontenay and the rest of the Boone High staff. They hope to keep encouraging students to pursue their dreams in the future. This has been Ben Wagner from Boone TV. The 10th grade English honor students have been hard at work preparing their World Issues posters for the annual showcase at parent and teacher conferences. Boone TV reporter Anna Olson has an inside look at this event. The annual Honors English Poster Project was held in the Boone High Commons on Thursday, March 9th. I did a few hours of poster work and a few hours writing the paper and note taking and bib cards. Each honors student had the chance to come up with a solution to a societal issue. Um, the project is important because it gets issues in society out to Boone High students. The students presented their boards to teachers, students, families, and even members of the community. I think it's important because there are a lot of things that need to be changed in the society we live in. Um, and things we should change that, and this is a really good way for people, just high school students like us, to be able to have an impact on that. This has been Anna Olson from Boone TV. As we enter the spring season, the Boone High Thespians are hard at work preparing for their final performance of the year. Emma Toms has your preview of the spring play. Everyone knows about the board game Clue. We want to see it in real life? The Toronto Theatre is putting on the play I Don't Have a Clue on Friday the 31st and Saturday April 1st. The play is a murder mystery themed, so it is very hilarious. Um, it's about six friends who go to a dinner party and some crazy things happen at that party. So it's a funny um, dinner party mystery and it will entertain everybody. Caitlin Melhouse is a junior that has a major role in I Don't Have a Clue. I'm Kayla Robinson and I'm the mom of two teenagers and I'm the one hosting a dinner party where someone gets murdered. Mrs. Salon and Caitlin have a lot of reasons as to why people should come see the play. People should come and see I Do Not Have a Clue because it is a hilarious play. You will sit and I can, in the audience, and I can promise you will be entertained. Um, it's a murder mystery, so we're trying to figure out who done it, and it's also a comedy, so you will definitely be laughing during the play. I think it's really going to keep people guessing until like the last second. I know it keeps me guessing every single time. So uh, it'll be a lot of fun. We have a fun cast. I think everyone's going to live up to their potential. It's going to be great. 
Make sure you support the Toro Theatre by going to I Don't Have a Clue on Friday the 31st and Saturday, April 1st. This has been Emma Toms from Boon TV. In a little over a month, BHS students will be dancing the night away at the high school prom. In order to host this special night, the Boon Student Council has been preparing for several months. Here's Rachel Ryan with the story on prom preparation. With spring finally here, many students at Boone High are already preparing for prom. Students on the committee are hard at work preparing for a spectacular event, and one of the ways they're doing so is by selling tumblers and popcorn to help with fundraising. Prom advisor Mrs. Lumley has high expectations for this year's decorations. I just want it to look completely different than last year, and it will. We've got a great plan in place, even though the colors are similar to last year's prom. Um, I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and elaborate and elegant. To create this magical night, students are asked to help fundraise. The fundraising is helping with the process because it helps offset some of the costs for things that we need for prom. And our ultimate goal with the fundraising is to raise enough money this year that I can lower ticket prices again next year like I did for last year's prom. Students are hard at work raising money for prom and it's sure to be a hit. This has been Rachel Ryan from Boon TV. For two weeks, the Tordor golf team has been practicing for their upcoming campaign. This past week, Boone TV's Ben Wagner took some time to talk with team members and head coach Steve Sandvig about what we can expect from this year's squad. The Boone High golf team is coming off of a successful 2016 campaign. The team won conference and looks to bring home the hardware again. With five of the top six varsity members returning, there are high expectations for the 2017 season. Uh, my expectations are is that I want to keep my scores in the 30s and I want to defend our Raccoon River title and then make a run to the state title. My expectations this year for the team to be more competitive. Uh, last year we finally figured out how to win a meet. Winning the Raccoon River Conference was a great achievement for this team. Uh, and at the beginning of the season last year we said in order for us to qualify for state we have to win a meet beforehand and if we don't win that a meet, we're not going to know what it's going to take. And now that we've gotten through that barrier, uh, we're ready to take on that next level, and that's to win a sectional meet and get through districts and qualify as a team for the state meet. Despite their lofty goals, the team knows there's still room for improvement. I'm working on my game, I'm working on my stroke, and I'm working on getting to state. The boys have been hard at work so far this year and are looking forward to a successful season. Obviously, one of my goals is to improve my scores from last year, and then I just having fun on the course with my friends, and another goal is to defend our Raccoon River title. The team will hit the links at Cedar Point Golf Course for the first time on Tuesday, April 4th. This has been Ben Wagner from Boone TV. If you have a hard time keeping up with what's hot and what's not, we here at Boone TV have you covered. Here's John Norris with What's Trending. Hola, Escuela Secundaria de Boone. Yo soy John Norris, Senior Cool Numero Tres. This past week, March Madness began, and as always, many tournament brackets have been filled out and busted. Major upsets such as South Carolina against Duke in the second round have reminded us all that there is a reason why they call it March Madness. Unfortunately, I also fell victim to that, as my champion team lost the other day. Another one bites the dust. Two weeks ago, Ed Sheeran started shearing his new album to the world. The album, titled Divided, features hit songs Shape of You and Castle on a Hill, as well as many others that are just straight up fire. Just like his spicy hair. Oh, and on June 30th, Ed Sheeran is coming back to Des Moines once again for, you guessed it, a concert. Eddie must love it here in Iowa. And now, five items trending in 10 seconds. Tom Brady found his missing jerseys. The last quarter of high school just kicked off. Everyone but me is making promposals. I love cheese balls. And WrestleMania is just around the corner. Tune in next week for Question of the Week to find out who Caustic Sage will FOUL! Out of my way, denim boy. Caustic Sage here. I'm back and I'm going to take you to the School of Pain next week to teach you a hard lesson. Find out if you will face Caustic Sage next week in Question of the Week. Until next time, from John Norris and Caustic Sage, have a wonderful weekend, Boone High. Thank you for joining us for this week's news show. We'll be back next week with all the buzz at BHS. 
In the meantime, please head over to boontv.com to check out all of our latest videos and written stories. While there, make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And now, make sure that you stay safe, stay cool, and have a great day, Boon High. Question of the Week! Question of the Week! Hey Corbin, what are you working on this week? Oh! You caught me at the right time, Jimbo. I'm working on Question of the Week. What's the question this week? What's your favorite part about spring? My favorite part about spring is not being cold all the time. By far the best. My favorite part about spring is soccer. My favorite part about spring is that there's no more snow. The lack of snow. No more snow! No more snow! Well, probably for me it's coaching tennis. We have a great bunch of kids coming back this year and I'm really looking forward to starting the season. Baseball starting up. Favorite part about spring is the warm weather. Yeah, it's just getting closer to summer, you know, I'm pretty excited for that. Flowers, obviously. Softball starting up. My favorite part about spring is finding videos to do for Boom TV. My favorite part about spring is the moment starts going. March Madness. My favorite part about spring would have to be the leaves and the flowers. Definitely tennis. I'm excited for track meets. My favorite part about spring is that there's nice weather and that everybody has their cool cars out. Question of the week! Question of the week!